Hey what is up guys welcome back to my channel and this video I will be sharing why you need to stop putting hard coded values into your code and how you can actually avoid them and uh, how actually I learned about this okay so let's quickly let's start off okay so I have already created a you know a example code this will not really work but this is just you know to show you what this uh, what what I'm trying to explain okay so what is actually basically hard coding okay let's say for example this is all my ui code okay and let's say for example this is in the screen one this is an android app and so let's say for example this is the screen one and inside this is a class and this is actually a button ui that i've created okay now what is hard coded values now this uh, i've mentioned 140 now these are all hard coded values that i've mentioned and these shouldn't be in your code okay and what you can directly do now in your uh, you know uh, already projects that you have what you can do is you need to keep all your hard coded values in a particular class so that whenever you know uh, you are making changes to your code you don't have to go to every single class and do the changes to for that particular field you can directly go uh, on to one hard coded class and you know you change there and all the co like all the things in your code are you know changed automatically okay so that's what i mean like you need to keep a hard coded class separate what i mean by that is let's say for example okay i'm not going to change these uh, because i think so this uh, width and height size is perfectly fine for my and i do want to keep you know some hard coded values are okay i mean but you need to avoid as much as hard coding as possible in your code okay because that's uh, how in in a in an industry level code there will be you know you are going to see that there's not a lot of hard coding done so yeah let's say for example uh, i have you know i'm going to you know create a, a separate notepad first of all okay now this will be in the same you know uh, this uh, class okay now but i will create hard coded for example hard coded values let's say for example okay i have created a class okay now what i will do is now what i will do is i will remove this border radius because if you see i have kept this border radius same in every screen okay now let's say for example you have a screen too and there's also a button but different height and width it does a different functionality but in as per your app theme you want to keep a border radius of 10 okay for every button okay that's the edges that's cuts okay so so that is why you have kept 10 in every single of your border radius now what you need to do is actually is instead of you know writing this 10 everywhere what you can do is you know you have created a class that is hard coded values now i have created static into let's say for example we say button uh border radius okay and i have kept it sorry i have kept it 10 okay now okay instead of you know putting uh, uh 10 here what i can directly do is now is you know i will say hard coded values dot you know dot and what is the variable name that is my button border radius i'll just copy this and paste it here so what will happen is that uh, this is also a class that is in this same project directory okay now when i you know uh change the value from here it will automatically you know uh basically when you over you compile your code with a different change here it will take that as uh this okay and similarly like that i'm going to create now this is also a animation duration like what is the whenever you know your button size and something is changing what is the animation you know you want to give like what's the duration of your animation now i've kept this one uh at every single button okay so let's say i will keep uh in button animation duration okay and i will keep this one okay similarly like that i will you know just copy this paste it here button animation duration okay so now what will happen is actually is i can you know basically change 
all of these things here Uh, now you see I have changed to uh, in every class I have made the necessary changes so that it is that the values are directly being fetched from my you know this class that is my hard coded class okay now what will happen is uh, as you saw it took me a little bit of time 10 to 20 seconds you know to change from every single class these are four classes okay so it took me around uh, uh, like 10 to 20 seconds okay now in the starting itself if i have you know created a hard coded values i i was coding and in the starting itself i have mentioned the hard coded values and i was writing like this then i don't have to change it from everywhere right and now what will happen is that uh, uh, whenever you know uh, in my ui i let's say for example in my ui now i think that uh, this uh, 10 border radius is not good so i want to change it to 20 okay so i can directly change it from here and all of these values are you know uh, all now this value is going to you know be compiled uh like whenever you're compiling the code this value is changed in every single class so that so that you know you don't have to again and again go to every single class and you know change now if i would have mentioned here 10 then I will have to, you know, change it to 20 from here, from here, from here, from here. So it will have been a very tedious task and it will, you know, have wasted you around, around 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Okay. Now I am just, uh, you know, giving you an example with this four class. Now, when you are creating your project, I think that your, your project will have a lot of classes, maybe around 20 to 30 classes and 30 to 40 class. And maybe in half of these classes, you will use the same border radius now if you have you know mentioned 10 here or something any else hard coded value then in future if you plan to you know change any of these values you will have to you know go to every single class and change that and will will consume a lot of your time so that so in that way you know uh, it will you know it will not waste your time the same thing you can do for your colors let's say for example you are you know a uh, you have a kind of you know a uh, theme of two to three colors that you want to keep everywhere so what you can do is you know you can create a hard coded colors uh, class and basically in that self you know you can mention a uh, static uh, let's say color and let's say a uh, blue so you have kept this okay now what will happen is that uh, in future if you want to you know even if you want to change the shade of this blue maybe you want light blue uh if this is dark blue and you want to light blue so you can basically you know just directly change here okay so you can just you know change from here and you can just use this uh, right so basically what will happen is that in if you have keep hard coded colors in every single so basically if your buttons were uh, dark blue but all your buttons now you want as light blue so you have changed in one place and all these changes are uh, in your you know uh, every single screen so you don't have to you know again and again go and change from everywhere now this was uh, one example of how you can avoid hard coding Another example that I will give, uh, another situation that might come is that, uh, let's say for example, uh, this is a country code selector. Let's say for example, you have a phone authorization that you have kept in your phone. Okay, uh, in your app, sorry. Now, uh, there's a men, uh, there's a drop down button that you have given that allows you to you know, select different country codes. Let's say for example, 91 for India, plus one for Canada and simply the list goes on. So I have mentioned the same string here, like what are all the available country codes that I have kept. Okay. Now you don't, you, act, uh, you don't want to, you know, mention like this, you need to keep all these values in your database that is there or in your server side so that whenever you have, you know, published your app in play store, you don't have to you know just uh, 
for example you have you know now included some other country let's say for example you have included australia uk or something else and that was not mentioned here so you have to you know just create a new release for that you know particular you have to just you know mention that particular let's say for example port two or something like that okay for this for just you know changing this you have to you know create a new release and publish to play store so that's not good so you need to keep uh, like you know similar kind of these things on the database that you think the values that you think you know might be changed in future or uh, you know might be changed in the future that values you know sh- you should keep in your server side and you should directly fetch those values from your server okay so basically it will look something like this let's say for example list of string uh j- let's just say for example server is pulling your uh country quotes okay so basically this uh you can create a you know basically a function or something like that and that is pulling all these values you know uh quotes from the server side and you have basically now put quotes here okay so yeah these were the things that i was trying to explain that how you can avoid hard coding and which values you know you should keep in your uh you know uh in your like your in your code and what values you should keep in your database or the server side basically the values that you think that are not going to change in future and that that they are going to be constant you should keep in in your phone okay and the values that you think that are going to change in the future you should keep on that server side or your on your database and fetch it from there okay so yeah that is what i was trying to explain through this video and you need to start doing this and start avoid using hard coded values in your uh, you know code uh, in your any type of application that you are creating okay so yeah, that was it for this video thank you guys for watching please do like this video subscribe to my channel turn on the post notification so you are uh, you know notified whenever i post a new video and i will see you guys in my next video bye